I responded to a Craigslist ad for some free collectors, uh, but I got to put in the effort to take them apart. And before I take them apart, I just wanted to show you this system because I've never seen this before. Check this out. There's two sets of big giant springs under here, and it looks like they've rusted off their connection. But the idea was that these are pivot points on this frame. And then check it out back here. It, it was designed so that you could actually tilt the whole thing up and then the collectors could be re-bolted for a winter angle that would be steeper. And right now they're in the summer angle position. So I don't know how many of these were out there uh, or how many people actually did it, but I, I haven't seen it before, so I thought I'd show it to you. So these are the panels that we took off of somebody's house. I got them for free. I just had to put in the effort. And we're doing a pressure test. So we uh, put in 30 PSI and bring the camera down and we'll take a look. Right at this location we can see some bubbling. And I was concerned about that because of all the green around it. <laughs> and it looks like there is a leak right there at the, uh, at the riser and header junction. So now I'm left with the debate. Do I take the glass off and try to resolder that? <laughs> or give up? <laughs> Let's take a look at how we pressure tested this guy. I hooked up the air compressor here to the quick connect. Got the pressure gauge. And then we have a uh, Watts brand push to connect fitting. It has an O-ring in there to seal around it. What do you think? So let's take this apart and see if we can fix it. It was put together with these short little stainless steel screws. So there's the aluminum rail. I'm just using some plastic shims to help hold this up. So it looks like there's this rubber gasket going around and it's U-shaped so it sandwiches the glass and I just lifted it up. So here's that corrosion. We saw a leak right here. Let's take a closer look at how this is made. We have these absorber plates, which are either aluminum or copper. And then there's a, a riser pipe connected to a manifold or header pipe, but that's one inch, and then I think these are typically three-eighths. Just pulled out these screws that were going in and holding that, and you can look inside this panel. So let's see what kind of insulation this is. Okay, so the back is riveted on the side rails. The only reason I was able to take off the, bat, the, the bottom piece was because it was corroded away where the rivets were. And that's probably because some of the glycol mixture got down there and acted, acted as some kind of agent that allowed the metals to corrode against each other. I'm not really sure. But uh, I'm gonna try to make this repair uh, without removing it because otherwise I gotta drill the rivets along the backside and the rivets are every four inches or so along the back. Used a wire brush and I cleaned up this joint down here. Uh, so now I'm going to uh, flux solder like I would any other copper joint. All right, let's do another pressure test. Uh, I got the air compressor hooked up. Uh, we're still leaking out of this joint. Okay, well, we try again. 
Well, we're looking good. There were about five little tiny pinholes, and so I kept going back, but there's no more bubbles. So I think we're probably good, and I checked the other connections as well. Tested good overnight, didn't lose any PSI. Uh, so I put the bottom frame back on, put on the rubber end caps. Uh, the glass is still off because I noticed the insulation underneath was still wet. I hosed this thing down and uh, to clean it. And so I just stood it up so that it can try to dry off a little bit. And now I'm gonna go work on this one. Looks like we have some moisture on the inside and uh, have the same leak as the other panel. So I'm gonna take this one apart, clean it, and hopefully uh, solder that successfully. And I don't see any bubbles forming. I sprayed down all those joints with a, a leak detector fluid. So it looks like I got that one soldered up okay. Now I can put it back together. Alright, we got it in with the rubber straight. Now we can uh, put these pieces of aluminum on top and screw it down. <laughs> 